ones out of the vehicle. There's a wreck or something. Hopefully everyone's okay. Tell you one thing. I'd be in a nine-line bind if I had to take a dump. There ain't nowhere out here. Nowhere you can go squat by. Dad told me, you need to do like they did in the old days. Get your five gallon bucket and some trash bags. Yeah, no, not happening. I think I'd just pinch it off. <laughs> oh. Well, it doesn't look like we're gonna be moving for a while. So I'm gonna turn old Betsy off. At least I got a pretty view. It's beautiful, beautiful. Camera don't really do it justice. Big old moon coming up over the hills. Oh man. Sun should be going down here pretty soon. Don't you hate when uh, when you go to record a video and you think it's recording? You're probably talking for, I was probably talking for about two minutes. Look down, nothing. Where are you leaking at, buddy? I hear you, but I don't see you. Let's go over here to the other side. Ooh, sun's bright. Man, now that I hear that, that's gonna drive me crazy. Oh! Oh, man, man, man. Sounds like it's somewhere up in here. It's not a big leak. I need to get this thing washed. That's what I need to do. Oh, climb my big butt up from underneath here. Oh, that's a head. Where's that coming from? Now it sounds like it's on this side. Ah, uh, you know what? That's it. Oh, I think it was a level one, though. Now 
Not leaking anymore though. Huh. Anyway. Later. Oh, been a little while. Remember? I was talking about uh getting stuck out here and being in a nine line bind. Yeah, I think I've <laughs> been in a nine line bind. That uh yeah, that sweet corn tamale. She wanting to come out. Yeah, anyway, I've uh probably wouldn't find anything here, but uh I like looking for arrowheads and stuff, so I figured while we're stopped, I'll walk this little ditch right beside the road, see if I can't find any. So, one of the fire trucks just come by, said it will be at least a five hour wait. Oh, folks are starting to turn around, but. Ain't that nice. Well, looks like I might be camping out here tonight. Uh, I think I'm still two and a half hours from the drop. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to do as far as the logbook. I went off duty and notated it that uh, stopped at a wreck. But when they get the wreck cleared, I still got an hour or about an hour to, I guess, the next safe spot to sleep. So, hmm. I think I'm just going to stay off duty the whole time. And if they ask about it, you know, tell them. I guess it's the old Vienna sausages for dinner tonight. Kind of throws my plans out the window as far as taking a shower. They said it was going to be five hours. <laughs> Curious how this works on the logs, too. Maybe y'all can help me out. If I'm shut down for five hours, obviously I run out of time. I still have an hour to get to that store that I was going to stop at and sleep. So if I go back on duty, I'm in violation. If I run off duty, I'm in violation. <laughs> I don't want to run on duty or run driving because then that's going to put me doing the 10-hour restart tomorrow at, I don't, know, I don't even know what time it is. It's like... 6 30 here i think it's 8 30 my time i mean it's central time uh 6 30 here well, that's uh 11 30 after they get it cleared if it is five hours i'd put me able to start tomorrow at 9 30. well actually later than that because I still have an hour to drive, so that'd put me getting there at 12.30, and uh, it'd be 10.30 tomorrow, starting. So, I think I'm just going to stay off duty, and if I get pulled over, I can explain it. Obviously, they don't know about it. They're up there at the uh, accident already. 
had a couple state troopers pass by. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's the plan. I'll just go, I'll run off duty over there. And then, uh, get it all straightened out when I get there. You know what sucks? I was gonna try to edit a video. But yeah, can't do that. I guess because everything saves to the iCloud and I don't have internet here. I got, well, I got four bars of 3G, but I guess that's not enough. So, yeah, it's gonna be a boring night. You know what I do need to do when I get home? I need to throw my ukulele in here. That way I can do some jamming on the uke. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's lights out there, right? <laughs> People are turning around and going down these dirt roads, thinking they can get around it somehow. But the roads lead, <laughs> the roads lead nowhere. So they all turn back around after like, they went down that road probably 20 minutes ago. And they're just now coming back. So, yeah. They're all out there. Hell, also, if you see that one light right there, and you look up on the mountain right there, that's another one that tried going down a dirt road. And he got all the way to the top of that peak right there and then had to turn around. And they're coming back down now trying to come back down I guess I think uh, sitting out here it's getting kind of dark but I got a light oh let me show you all these lights I highly suggest y'all get them I got one that I keep in the truck with me oh Oh, sorry, it's just gonna fall off the stairs. It is a hyper tough, I believe. Yeah, hyper tough. This little one is like a 2000 or 1500 lumen. And it lights up everything. But, check this out. I found this, I think it was at Walmart. I believe. God, it's a mess in here. Do y'all seem like y'all run out of storage space? I do. Maybe I'm just a hoarder. I don't know. Check this bad boy out. This is, seeing if it says how many lumens it is. No, I don't say it. It's also a hyper tough. I wanna say it was 5,000 lumens. Dude, this thing is the bomb diggity. Bright as all get out. And then that little one. Check it out. Man, it lights up everything. I think you. This, guys, is an example of what not to do when in a traffic jam. I'm back again. One thing I forgot to mention these permits are kicking my butt. <laughs> New Mexico wasn't too bad. It costs, I think, $36 for the fuel permit. Uh, Nevada, I think, was $36, $37, $38, $38. Arizona will only give you a 24-hour permit. And it's $60-something dollars a day. And I think it's kind of crappy. They, uh... 
they won't let you buy one through the state. You got to go through a permitting agency. So I think there's money changing hands. It's just my personal opinion. But uh, so just got word that probably be another six hours or so. They said, uh, I guess a car ran off the road. I don't know why, but uh, flipped over in the ditch. And an eight and a 10 year old passed away. Kind of hits home, you know. I have a eight year old and 11 year old, 12, eight year old and a 12 year old. So, yep, uh, say an unspoken prayer for the family. That sucks. And here we are, like, uh, what am I going to do? Can't watch YouTube, can't watch Netflix. Yeah. Someone lost their kids. Uh, it's a bad day. Bad day. Sad. Uh, like I said, it really hits home because I got two kids kind of the same age. So. Hug your kids tight. You never know. When the good Lord says it's time to come, it's time to come. And you never know what that day's gonna be or when that day's gonna be. Anyway, we'll holler at y'all later. This will be the last one tonight.